guys, Lori here. I'm here to do another wrap up or prep for 2020. And here are the 10 um, contemporary books that I'm most excited for in 2020. I know there are so many coming out, but these are just the books that have caught my eye. Most of these are from authors that I have already read that are high on my list. I wrote them all, all down in my planner. Um, some I even have arcs of early, so I hope I'll get around to them at a quicker pace. But let's get into it. The first book that I'm really excited to chat about is Meet Me at Midnight by Jessica Pennington. This book does come out in um, it comes out in April 2020, um, 2020 from Tour Teen. Um, and this is her third book in like I think it's like in like her companion series. But it basically follows these two teenagers, Sydney and Asher, and they have spent their entire lives living on opposite side of a lake, basically pranking each other and having this epic pranking war. However, when their pranks go a little bit too far and they're kicked out of their beach houses, they kind of team up together to get back at the person that kicked them out of their houses and hilarity drama and maybe some romances. So I do have an early arc of this, so this might be one of my first reads in 2020. But I'm so excited for this read. I love Jessica Pennington as an author, and I think she writes such fun reads. Um, and I was able to acquire her arcs this year for my permanent collection. But I'm really excited for this read, and I cannot wait to dive into it. The next book I'm going to chat about is a is is is, is another contemporary, but this one is definitely more of a hard hitto hitter, and it's called Echoes Between Us by Katie McGarry. This is the second book in her companion series. I really love the first one, but the second one follows Veronica, who you met in the first book, and she is kind of dealing with a lot. She constantly thinks she's seeing her mother's ghost, which is largely thanks to, she's a brain tumor, basically, that causes these really, really bad headaches, and due to that, she has after effects where she thinks she sees her mother's ghost. Um, and then her potential love interest is a boy named Sawyer who is handsome, popular, a state champion, summer, but his adrenaline's addiction, but his draws him to Veronica, a girl with nothing to live for, and a boy with everything to lose. Can they conquer their demons together? Sounds really interesting. I really love the first one in this series. I love those characters, and I'm excited that Veronica is getting her own book because I really liked her as a character. I thought she was so unique and so different. So this is high on my contemporary reads for the year. The next book I'm going to chat about is actually a surprise, um, and this is called Instant Karma, and it is by Marissa Meyer. This is going to be Marissa Meyer's first contemporary novel, and it sounds super interesting. It doesn't come out until November. They don't even have a cover yet, but I'm just reading the summary off of Goodreads, and I found it to be really interesting, so that's why I made this list. Marissa Meyer is also one of my autobi authors that I really enjoy, so anything she'll buy, I tend to, anything she writes, I, t I tend to read. Um, but this book is a contemporary romance with a bit of magic, chronic over, with a bit of magic, chronic over teaser, Prudence Daniel is always quick to cast judgment, um, and that's, like, just her life. She always casts quiz judgment on people, but one day when she falls and hits her hands, she winds up being able to have the ability to cast instant karma on anyone, um, and it kind of throws her into, um, a situation with a boy that she's not that fond of but I'm doing a really really bad job of explaining this but it sounds super cute I love books that have like hints of magic in them because I think that it just takes the reality of characters and kind of just expands on them but it sounds so cool it comes out in November definitely high on my list the next book that I'm really excited about is called Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett I have really enjoyed all Jen Bennett's contemporary novels. They're so fun. I think I I just found them to be so fun to read. This book comes out in May and it follows this girl who winds up returning to her old town many, many years in the past. And she winds up having to flashback relationship with the boy that she used to know. And she realizes that he may not be the same person that she expects him to be. Um, but I love blast from the past romance. I love rekindled romances. Sounds like a perfect trope. They also seem to be dealing with a lot of elements of self-discovery and exploring yourself and kind of finding your next adventure, which I'm really excited about. So I will definitely be reading this when it comes out in May. 
The next book I'm going to chat about is a book called Lucky Caller by Emma Mills, and this comes out in early January. About a year ago, I read one of Casey West's book called Listen to Your Heart, and this has a very, very similar, like, basic premise to it. But I always love Emma Mills books because normally they really do focus on like friendship dynamics really well and I'm always craving that in my contemporaries. But this follows a girl named Nina and she has to basically take a broadcasting cast her senior year and it is not as easy as she's expecting it to be. Her team really has nothing in common and they have a hard time connecting. She's connected back with an old childhood friend of her named Jamie. The show's a mess, they wind up causing a lot of problems, and everyone is basically mad at them. In addition to all that drama, she's also having a lot of personal drama with her family that's starting to come to a head. Sounds like the perfect mix of a family novel, mix of friendship, mix with some type of job, which I love. So it seems like it will be a read that I'm really, really engaged in. I really hope that that's true. I struggled with Emma Mills, Famous in a Small Town, but I'm hopeful that this book will be back to the book's previously that I really enjoyed. So yeah, this book comes out in um, January 14th. So I actually don't have to wait too long for this book. So I will be definitely be checking this out when it comes out and I hope that you guys will be checking it out as well. The next contemporary book I'm going to chat about is The Girls Save the World in this one. This book is by Ash Parsons. It is from Penguin. It comes out in April 14th. I actually got this book at New York City Comic Con. It's actually over there on my bookshelf. But it basically follows these characters and they go to a Comic Con or some type of Comic Con. I go to cons all the time and this is like my nightmare come true. When they, when they go to this Comic Con, they realize that the world is actually starting to end and the zombies are starting to attack and they have to try to figure out how to save the world at this com comic book convention basically sounds awesome I love comic-con so anything that involves that but also like girls saving the world I'm totally there for sounds so cool um and Jewel discovers that real, real zombies are taking over the con now June must do whatever it takes to survive a horde of actual brain-eating zombies and save the world this is hilarious heartfelt horror comedy to an ode of zombies friendship and girl power that the readers are going to love that sounds awesome. I cannot wait to dive into it. I do have an early arc, so I might get to read it a little bit earlier, but I'm equally excited to read it regardless. The next book I'm going to chat about is We Used to Be Friends. That I was just looking at on one of my lists, and it just sounded really interesting. So it's basically about these two girls. They wind up being best friends, and then something happens in the middle of their senior year that kind of drifts them apart. So you wind up seeing them both as they're dealing with the aftermath and also flashback to the situation. Sounds really interesting. Sounds like an emotional, heartbreaking novel, but also one that really does focus on friendship. And that is a topic in YA books that I really tend to look for because I like that topic in friendships a lot. So that is another one of the reads that I'm really excited for. And it, this one comes out... January 7th from Amulet Books. The chat about is from Casey West, and it's the third book in her Love, Life, and the Lift series. I have really enjoyed this series. I know that the second book wasn't everyone's favorite, but I really enjoyed it. So the third book in this series is called um, Hearts, Heroes, and Heath Hall, um, and I'm really excited. Now, I know that Heath Hall does make a cameo in the second book in the series because that follows Lacey and she's, like, on a TV show. But it basically follows this girl named Harley and she's, like, a swimmer. Hadley, sorry. She's, like, a swimmer. And this boy just winds up basically, like, coming into her thing and, like, totally ruining her meat. But she realizes there's a little bit more to know about this man before she realizes that everyone is kind of impersonating this guy and she doesn't kind of know, she doesn't kind of know who, this, who this guy really is. So it kind of sends her on this discovery fight to figure out who this boy actually is, and it kind of takes her on a path of self-discovery and dealing with herself and her own past, which I find super interesting. This book does come out in March, and I'm super excited to get my hands on it. The next book I'm going to chat about is Layoverland by Gabby Noon.
I am a big fan of The Good Place and this book just sounds a lot like The Good Place to me so I'm really excited for it. I know that it's about this girl who winds up dying but then she winds up getting go to basically purgatory and winds up she's been chose to be a part of this thing called the um the memory experience team um if she wants another shot at heaven she'd have to use her master manipulator skills to help four five thousand souls says that what keeps them from moving on so she's basically like a mediator that, that's helping these souls figure out what's going on and only after she helps these souls can she move on herself which i think sounds like a really interesting concept in a novel um, I really did like The Good Place, and I want more books that kind of deal with similar things like that. So this book comes out in January 21st in 2020. So it actually comes out relatively soon. So I'll definitely be adding this to my library haul list because it sounds super interesting. So yeah, that's my thoughts and why I'm excited to read Layoverland. The next book I'm going to chat about is by an, one of my favorite contemporary authors, and that is Becky Abertali. This book is another book that is co-written by Becky Arbatali and Alicia and Alicia Sayad. Um, and it basically follows these two characters named Jamie and Maya. Um, and I think that they're just having like a really, really bad day. But they their life's kind of coming up and contrasting in like a way. Um and they are of different cultures, but they wind up having like a like um a connection and they wind up Becoming friends and maybe something more. I don't I don't want to read too much to the summary, but I know it follows these two characters and there's two writers. So again, another book that is high on my contemporary reads for their for the year. And I really hope that I like it. Now this last book I'm just adding on here because it's supposed to come out in 2020. We don't know if it's really coming out. We don't know its title. We know nothing. But Morgan Matson normally comes out with a book like every two years, and her last book was two years ago. Which was, um, I love that book. I thought it was so fun. And this is her new one supposed to be out in May or June of 2020. And I just wanted to add it so I had it on my list to keep a nose out for it when it eventually gets, <coughs> when it eventually gets, like, announced. So that is about 11 contemporary books that are high on my reads for 2020. Most of these books come out between January and May. So I'll probably have another one about in the summer for more specific contemporary books as I hear more about them. I also am going to ALA in about a couple of weeks. So when I come back from there, I normally come back with a lot of contemporaries. So I'll probably do a haul as well. But let me know in the comments what are some contemporary books you're most excited for that come out between January and May. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.